Great fishing is not that far away. Welcome to Illinois Outdoors with Don DeGina. Hey, Illinois Outdoors. This is Keaton Ope at Hobie Cat, and we're at the Aglow Conference up in Minneapolis this week, and I've got a treat for you. Actually, I've got a couple of treats for you. First thing I want to show you is our new IS-11. Now, this is an inflatable kayak with some new and unique features. Check this out. Look at the deck. It's flat, similar to a stand-up paddleboard. We still have our Mirage Drive propulsion system. This boat is nimble. It's also extremely stable and firm. It's a great base to stand up on, to sit on in our Vantage seat. The Vantage seat, once again, a lot of features and benefits. You're able to make adjustments, you're able to do lumbar, you've got your height, it can serve as a camp chair, your traditional rudder on a Hobie, you've got great rudder steering, so you've got a nimble boat that's light and quick and stable. Best of all, you're able to carry your H crate, all your gear, you work your way to the back, like I said, it's an inflatable, comes with its own pump, five minutes, and this boat is ready to go. So pay attention to the IS-11 from Hobie Cat this year. This is going to be a phenomenal product. You're going to see it on the water. You're going to see it on the shores of Lake Michigan, downtown Chicago. Look for it. It's going to be a hot product. Easy to transport, easy to store, great fishing platform. Now, I promised you one more treat. Our 2016 Outback is an anniversary year, 15 years. So what we're doing? We're having a birthday party. Cupcakes for all. The Outback, as you know, has been a mainstay of Hobie fishing once again for 15 years. This was the original Mirage Drive kayak. The Mirage Drive is the game changer. That's what sets Hobie apart from everything else in the water. Stay mobile, move efficiently, keep your hands free for fishing. You've got the rudder drive. The Outback, outside of the cupcake, still has fantastic seating. Everything is adjustable. Put you in the position you want to be to fish out of. Lumbar support for comfort. Once again, fantastic boat, super stable, great storage. I got my new Legend Trek St. Croix rods right here. Store my gear in the back. Once again, our rudder drive. Very unique boat, very stable boat. It's been around 15 years. This boat's still one of the hottest fishing products on the market. It's not gonna change. Take it anywhere. Get it on top of your car, get it in the back of your truck, get on big water, get on little water. Just get out and fish and enjoy your Hobie and have a great day from the Aglow Conference here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's a good day to be out on the water. I need to be there too. You know, we're at the breakout session here at the Aglow Conference in Minneapolis. And, uh, one of the booths that we've seen here is uh, the Aquaview booth. This unit right here, the Micro AV5 with the DVR, I'll tell you what, it's really a neat unit. Corey Schmidt here from Aquaview has been telling us about it, but why don't you share some of the information on how this all works? Yeah, absolutely, Donna. So basically, it's an extremely portable, self contained underwater camera. Um, really, really popular for ice fishing. This micro series has been. Um, but it's really great for your boat too. So if you're going along on your sonar, you see something on your sonar screen and you're not sure what it is. You see fish and you hope they're bass or you hope they're crappies, but you're not sure. Literally, you can take this camera, drop down, it takes a minute or two, and you can find out you know, if you're fishing the wrong fish or the right fish or how big a fish, what kind of cover you have down there. You just can see it. And, uh, well, well, sometimes, really you know, when you're fishing, you know, like especially in the fall and stuff like that, you know, the crappies might be in 20, 30 feet of water. How much land do you have here? <laughs> um, up to, a, this, this one has 100 feet, actually. So, and obviously it gets dark when you get down to about 30 feet and deeper, but this has built-in infrared lights that are auto-sensing. So as it gets darker, this the camera optics actually senses and it triggers uh, infrared lights. So, just realistically, you can see pretty well in a clear lake down to 30 to 50 feet. You know, right out here in the box here, it says with DVR, digital video recorder. Right, we're in that we're in that digital age, and so you know, the entertainment value of being able just to record what you're seeing and you know, upload it on your phone, put it on social media, show your buddies what you've seen. Um, some of the tournament fishermen will record it and just study it, and they'll use that for information for their tournaments. So yeah, it just adds another element of the fun to it. You know, there are quite a quite a different 
variety of the AquaView cameras and such like that. And uh, if you want to put that one down for a second, just grab that one or one of the others before. I just want you all to know that there's a there's a camera for every pocketbook. You know, uh, there are very very fancy ones with a lot of options to it. You know, like this unit here or that one on there. You know, then you got this little one here. I mean, for the guys that might be just uh, an occasional angler or uh, goes on a weekend vacation or yep. something like that, they, and they, but they'd like to have the advantage of seeing what's going on. This is really neat. Yeah, right around $200, you can get in on a, a Micro 2, and when you buy one of these, you have everything you need. You've got the battery internal, you've got the monitor, you've got the camera, and you've got a battery charger, so you've got everything you need to just to start viewing right away. So um, on up to about five or six hundred dollars, depending on, uh, on the, fe the features you want. So. Well, Corey, we can't let you go without telling us how do people find out about the full line of AquaView products? What website do they go to? So it's just uh, AquaView. That's A Q U A V U dot com. So AquaView dot com. That's simple. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take a quick break. We're going to move on. We're going to see some of the other products here at the Glow Breakout Afternoon. We'll be right back. Boulder Junction, Wisconsin is the musky capital of the world, offering you a chance at a true trophy. But Boulder Junction offers more than just musky. Fish for walleye, bass, and panfish on 194 Crystal Clear Lake. Visit boulderjct.org for details. Start planning your Boulder Junction fishing trip today. If you're into the outdoors, the Heritage Quarter is your close to home destination for all sorts of great outdoor activities. Did you know that the Illinois River offers great striper and sauger fishing? The Heritage Quarter also boasts excellent deer, turkey, and waterfowl hunting. Superior lodging and dining is available at the Star Rock Lodge right at the doorstep of hiking trails, the woods, and water. Learn more of what the Heritage Quarter has to offer in the outdoors by visiting their website at www.heritagequartercvb.com. Plan your next outdoor adventure in the Heritage Quarter in Illinois mile after magnificent mile. The world is a water park and since 1950 Hobie has made the best rides. Hobie Cat is the leading manufacturer of sailboats, kayaks, fishing boats and accessories. Two of their hottest innovations are the Hobie Mirage Drive, a no gas required propulsion system that leaves your hands free for fishing, photography or holding a drink. And the all new Hobie Mirage Pro Angler, one of the world's lightest, most efficient decked out fishing boats in the world. Hobie, building memories with you and your family. HobieCat.com Kentucky State Parks. In Kentucky's western waterland, come make a splash in the third largest body of water in the U.S. with 3,000 miles of shoreline, where fun comes by the pound. Enjoy the fishies and the birdies. Either way, you'll have a ball at Kentucky State Parks. Visit us online to plan your next trip. Welcome back to Illinois Outdoors, everyone. Don DeGina here. As I said before, we're at the 59th Annual Association of Great Lake Outdoor Riders Conference. We're in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and right now it's breakout afternoon. Take a look at all these people that are here. It's uh, incredible. We've got all the outdoor riders, we've got all the corporate members here, and the corporate members are here this afternoon to show us their wares, the things that they're specializing in, in, in and the, the new products and stuff. And I'll tell you what, it is so so cool to be here you know right now we got Kevin Jarnigan with us here he's with Blue Heron Communications and right now he's representing Berkeley he's representing Abel Garcia he's representing you know a ton of different companies here today and uh, this man looks it's like big. a beast to me man it, <laughs> it looks is like a beast. beast it is a beast it's a Revo Toro beast uh, and this is designed specifically for those musky guys that they get tired of holding those huge reels. This is a slim down version of those. You still maintain that line capacity. 25 pounds of max drag. You get three different handle options. Uh, also, we were talking off air that it also comes with three different gear ratio sizes. And so those guys that want the real slow cranking reels, same deal. 
but just just a different gear ratio. This one is a 6.2 to 1. It turn, takes in 31 inches of line per turn. So uh, great all around reel. This is kind of your middle. Kind yeah. of it's just an easy way for guys to be able to choose. And they also do come in left-handed versions. And so I know those those kind of offbeat guys that like those left-handed reels, but, but it comes in those for you guys too. But, but all around a great reel. They've lightened the weight up. Um, so great reel. What kind of line does is recommended for this reel? Well, I mean, a lot of those guys are going to braid now. They're going to that stealth, that 80, 100 pound braid. Um, and so, you know, you start looking at those type of line capacities and you're going to be able to load up that line. Um, but mostly those two feet critters out here, and you never know what's going to be on the end of that, so go heavy. Well, you know, to, not to get away from this reel, but it's very nice. But the thing is, you know, Berkeley has you know, a number of different component pieces for the musky angler as well, you know, like the wire leaders, the, the we do. I the, think the mono leaders. and Yep, uh, the steel on leaders and, and uh, wire crimps, you know, uh, Berkeley's also coming out with some new tools uh, for the musky angler and, and so a lot more, uh, you know, pliers for those guys that are a little bit longer and get your hands a little further away from those mouths. And what kind of rod would you suggest? With, for this. with this uh, Revo Toro Beast right now, what we're suggesting you use is the new Fantasista Beast. And it's a uh, uh, tetra axial carbon fiber rod. It comes in 7 foot 9, 7 11, 8 foot, 8 foot 6, 10 foot 6, and I believe there's an 11 footer in there. Uh, but yeah, 11 they, footer. I, I know, those, they like those long rods. But what's cool about those is that it has an integrated ferrule design. And to where the bottom half butt of that rod actually comes off and so you're able to actually load that rod up in your rod locker. Share with our audience, if you will, the best way that they can find out about all the different products you represent so that they can check each and every one of them out. All right, we, there's a whole litany of them. If you go onto Pure Fishing's website, you'll find your way through the, the many different clients that we represent, whether it's Fenwick, Fluger, Abu Garcia, Shakespeare, Penn, any of those guys. But for the Abu Garcia, you're going to want to go to www.abugarcia.com. And for anything Berkeley, berkeley-fishing.com. Sounds like a winner. You know, I'll tell you what, let's just move around a little bit more and uh, see if we can uh, come across and see uh, some other very interesting products. Howdy, Jim Edlund from Humminbird here at Aglow 2015 in Minneapolis, introducing the Ice Helix 5 from Humminbird. It's a self-contained unit for ice fishing that contains a digital flasher that you can see here. It also has sonar, so you can fish in a sonar chart view, and it also has high definition mapping for use with your Navionics, uh, Golden Hot Maps, or your Lake Master products. Fantastic, all in one, so that when you're on the ice, you're safe, you can get to your spot, you can get back home, you can find fish, and whether you're accustomed to using a flasher, as we're in right here, flasher mode, or you like fishing in graph mode, it's all in this box. Retail price is $449.99, and it comes with everything you see here, including the battery, a 7 amp hour AGM battery, charger, ice transducer, and float, bag, shuttle, and unit. We think it's going to be really huge this year. Um, whether you use it in the bag or you mount it on your snowmobile, on your ATV, inside your UTV, or your truck, everything you need to find and catch fish on the ice is in this new unit from Humminbird. As you can see the flasher here, we get into GPS mode with mapping. This is your graph mode, which is great. So you can watch your jig and you get actually a history of how fish react to your jig cadences. You've got zoom, digital zoom, so when fish are hugging the bottom, like walleyes and uh, um, when they're finicky and, and uh, you can play cat and mouse with them by zooming in on the bottom. And then again, back to the digital flasher. Take a look at all of Humminbird's new units at humminbird.com.
The Niagara Falls area is America's best kept secret when it comes to the outdoors, fishing, boating, kayaking, and more are all there for the outdoors enthusiast. Enjoy trophy fishing on the Niagara River, Lake Ontario, and Lake Erie. There are many sites to see and so much to do in the outdoors, and we're here to help you plan your next vacation. Visit NiagaraUSA.com or give us a call at 1-877-FALLS-US. The Niagara, New York area, your next American outdoors adventure destination. Okay, as I explained a little bit earlier today, you know, we have we have media members here at the Agro Conference and we also have corporate members. And I tell you what, one of the most popular corporate members that we have is the Clam Corporation, the ones who come out with the clam tents, the ice you know, the ice rod. I mean there are so many different products that, that, that I can't even mention them all. And, and that's why we asked Nick Quito to join us today and tell us a little bit about some of the different things here. And if you want, you want to just touch on the new stuff? Or? Yeah, we can do that, sure. I mean, uh, we've got a catalog that's about 96 pages, so we're going to really hone in on what's new here for this coming fall. Um, for San Rand Hicks here to our Kenai Pro Thermal. The Kenai Pro was in the lineup last year, and we have it now in a full thermal. Full thermals pretty much become the norm in what anglers want. We've got cold winters side by side in a non thermal versus thermal. That one's 20 to 30 degrees warmer with the same heat at the same level. So that's a big benefit. That's your one person Kenai Pro Thermal. I think one of the things that's really nice about this is that it actually, once it all folds up, it actually fits inside the yeah. sled. It's a flip and go. It's about the easiest thing, you know, for the mobile ice fishing, which Dave Genz has talked about forever. Um, it's easy, there's no pulls to extend. That's all you got. So you get to your spot, fill your hole, flip it over, and you're fishing. Clam makes more than single person tents. Yep. They make some for two, three, four, and probably more than that, right? Yeah, no, we've got uh, a full lineup of two person shelters. Uh, the one you're standing, there's a two person there in the Yukon X Thermal. That's a full thermal. This one is a portage, um, is again a two person model. One of the larger two person models. And uh, we've got a four person model in the X4 series. Um, yeah, we've got a, a myriad of options there. And then of course the hub style shacks, the pop-up hubs, um, they become popular. And we've got ones that are comfortable with two to three, all the way up to six to eight people. So ice fishing is a social sport. And for some that like the solo missions, I get it, but you're never really ever fishing alone. You and me might be in a two, I might have a one person, you might have a one person, we might be 10 feet away. We're not fishing alone per se, but we're just, we're working an area, being mobile. Some of the other ones, more of a social environment, relax, talk, so I've got something for everybody. Well, we got here, we've got our clam sub-zero base layer, or you could use it as a mid layer. Super soft, high pile fleece. Honestly, it feels like your favorite blanket. And you got the moisture wicking capabilities, because that's what you're gonna want. You don't want to have cotton on the, on the on inside of your outerwear because you sweat when you're moving. You need to get that moisture pulled away. And that's what this is able to do. We've got it in the pants and the top. Super comfortable stuff. And a blue suit, which uh, was the original suit that Ice Armor came out with. And, and since then, of course, we've improved it and listened and gotten the feedback from not only consumers, but our anglers as well. So we've got a, a waterproof windproof garment. We've got the, the parka and the bibs, which you can buy separately. The parka is a little longer, which is nice, because there's nothing worse than sitting down on a seat and having those cold spots right here. So the bibs come up high, parka comes down low, so you have complete protection. Padded knees, padded rear end. Really, it's designed for the ice angle. Lots of pockets. Uh, super, uh, super fun to, to be able to out, be able to elements with that. You know, plenty of, of, uh, of places to take them. You can hook on, you know, like the forceps or, or. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ice fishermen love gear, right? We like to stuff it everywhere, and, and you got jig boxes and forceps and things to charge up your jigs. You know, because glow is a big deal. So but yeah. Tons of, tons of features at Ice Anglers. Now look at that, they've got one for the ladies as well. We do. So one of the growing segments that in the ice fishing world is, is there's a lot more women out on the ice. And, and so you gotta have, men and women are cut differently. That's not a secret. 
So we've got uh, a lineup of clothing for women's as well. This happens to be our Ice Armor Extreme suit. It's a fully insulated suit. Again, you can uh, buy them separately. So if you need a, a medium jacket and a large bottom or vice versa, you're able to do so. But you got 200 grams of insulation on the top and 150 with the bibs. Again, same with all of our Ice Armor outerwear. You got the padded knees, padded rear end, um, ballistic nylon in some of those areas, wear areas going to keep you warm. I mean, there's one thing you cannot be when you're out ice fishing, and you don't need to be because products are available. You don't need to be cold and miserable. Ice Armor can handle that. That's what it's designed for, so you can be out fishing, and regardless of when your time is able to go, you can go no matter what the weather's doing. Get him in the show. This is really neat. Yes. We're from Chicago. Yep. And in Chicago, we have... Uh, we have an ice fishing season, but it's not extended like you have up here in Minnesota. And uh, the thing is that our ice, our ice may get to 8, 10, 12 inches, but this is an electric one where you can use your own power drill and everything else, just hook everything up. I, I, I imagine that Clam has this rig, everything except for the drill. Yeah, absolutely. We don't, uh, we're not in the business of making drills, um, but most uh, ice anglers um, have a drill in their garage. Now, with that said, you're, you can't take a 12 volt and expect to get the performance out of it and longevity or drill because the last thing we want to do is have you work, ruin your drill. This is an 18 volt uh, high torque drill and that's what we recommend with a half inch chuck. Now in this case, new this year, see, new this year, actually you can just chuck up or put the bit right in the end of your drill right now. Whereas before, you had to take the chuck off, no longer, so we made it even easier. Lithium batteries are, have done wonders for this system. And really, it's it's a pull the trigger and drill the hole. Now, off any battery, I can I can probably get about 700 inches off that battery, meaning that's about uh, 40 holes and 16 inches of ice. Wow! And that's, that's pretty, pretty slick. Yeah. I've I've done this system in three feet of ice. I've done it in two feet of ice. Um, I've used it all over. So if you chase panfish, perch, crappie, and you live in an area like Chicago or any other area that maybe doesn't get a ton of ice but fishable ice. This thing right here is about 14 pounds. Yeah. Well, That's pretty dang light. light. It is light. It is light. You know, and I tell you what, that is really, really kind of neat. It's changed, it honestly has changed the way people, uh, you know, look at drilling holes. And really, to be honest, I mean, if you're sitting in a fish house and you get, uh, let's say you want to move, and, bef you know, there's a lot of power augers. They all, you know, they range anywhere from 25 to 30 pounds. You're like, I don't really want to get up, move around, do all this, because it's a lot of work. It can be work. This eliminates some of that work. I mean, you just get out and do it. It's super easy. You're going to move more, and you're going to catch more fish. Wow. No, nope, lots of fun. Well, you're putting that away. I'm taking a look over here, and I'm seeing all these fishing rods and everything else. Uh, we were using some today earlier when we were fishing with Dave, and uh, they could handle these big blue girls. They're very light action, very sensitive. They're really kind of neat. Well, talk a little bit about some of the rods that you have. Right? Yeah, sure. I, um, so Dave, you know, Dave has been, Dave Jen has been a pioneer in a lot of these different advancements that you see in the ice fishing industry. And years ago, he said, well, you know, we use these nice long graphite rods. Why can't we use shorter graphite rods for ice fishing and just cut them down? So obviously a lot has developed since then, but the point is, is that now you can take, and this one happens to be part of our light bite series. So if you're, if you're a panfish guy, um, you know, this one in particular is the 21 light combo, lightweight, super sensitive, fits in the palm of your hand. You know, true blue, here's a true blue series. I mean, we've got, I think we've got in total between Dave Gens' lineup, the Jason Mitchell lineup, and the Clam line, I think there's 54 different rods. So depending on how you fish, what you fish for, um, here's a true blue. Fits nice, you can hold in that pistol grip fashion if you wanted to, or you can hold it norm in a normal fashion. So super easy to handle. On the true blues, on the ultralights, you have a larger arbor. And what that does is that, you know, because you're probably going to put on two or three pound tests, you're going to reduce some of that line and coiling. One of the challenges when you're ice fishing is, you know, not allowing your, the ones that you're going to keep, not allowing them to freeze, because there's no, there's no fun in trying to clean the frozen fish. Then you might put them underneath the faucet or in a bucket of water to thaw, and then they get slimy. So one of the things that in, in working with Bruce Moser um, um, and today's tackle, um, which now we are we distribute all of these products as a fish well. You drill a hole, put it down, put your fish in there. They're fresh. You go home. They're not frozen. You're not having to deal with all that. And a nice zipper access. So 
just another little thing that uh, um, certainly has its benefits for the ice angler. Now this is one of the things that I like. It's a long handled skimmer. Yep. When you got a long yeah, handle like this one, and this one here is probably like 30 some inches long, you can take and just get down there, clean out the ice hole and everything else. What else is nice, you can even measure your fish with the ruler that's on you. Measure fish and the thickness of the ice. That's right. Yeah, so it serves down. the purpose. Yep. Yeah. So very well built. And, and a more traditional one. Yep. Right here that's about 14 inches. Something. Very good. Very good. Gloves. Yes. Yes. Gloves are always a big, big thing. No one likes to have miserable hands. Um, there's no question about it. And we've got a very large selection on the Ice Armor lineup when it comes to cold weather gloves. But one of the things that if you just need to take the edge off and you don't want to have the bigger, you know, insulated ones on, you've got these dry skins. And, and dry, it's a tighter fitting glove, but it's got a nice feel to it. The, the waterproofing technology is actually it's in, impregnated in the fabric. It's not a baggy. So it's super comfortable. You can still actually feel what you're doing. And if your hands get a little bit moist, you just do one of these things and the water sheds off. It's the first time I ever used them was up in Lake Winnipeg last year chasing uh, walleyes, greenbacks. Put my hand right down in the hole, grab a fish, hands were dry and went like this, and it was like I never put them in the water. Now this is a beautiful tent that I would imagine that Four big boys can be in here, probably maybe five, or a family, mom yeah. and the kids. Four grown adults with gear, that might be how we're comfortable too, but the point is you got a lot of space. And this model right here happens also have a full thermal skin, which uh, we've talked about uh, the benefit of having that. The heat retention from your heater, and then the, the condensation that you won't get with insulation, insulated walls. Um, and then what's kind of cool and new this year is this hub light, uh, actually attaches to this top hub assembly up here so you don't ever have to take it off but um, when it's dark in here and when it's a low light this this thing right here will illuminate the whole space you guys have thought about this quite a bit when you put this together we we have uh, you know we've got uh, several different models in the hub shack category and um, we have and through uh, again feedback from consumers feedback from our pro stack pro staff and, and feedback from the, from the folks internally at Clam. And we all love this stuff, we all do it, we're all passionate ice anglers, and that's how we come up with what we come up with, and it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Nick, I want to thank you for being on Illinois Outdoors TV. I appreciate the opportunity, thank you, and, sir. And, uh, you know, you've got some great products here, you know, a, a great variety of products, and, uh, you know, every 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 great show has to come to an end, and I think that's what we have to do right now, come to a close end. You know, we're, we're not that far away from ice fishing, and what that means is great fishing is not that far away. Until next time, I'm Don DeGina, and you are Nick Chido. We'll see you next week.